Hey, welcome back. Do you love coffee but feel like you could step up your home brewing game? Well, I spoke with the 2019 U.S. Barista Champion Sam Spillman of Cafe Vita for advice. The porigami is created by a company called Mir. It's a local coffee company. And this porigami is amazing because although uh, we may not be traveling a lot right now given COVID, it is great for travel. You can take it absolutely any, anywhere. It, um, this is the porigami here. And it, fold, it um, unhooks into three metal pieces. So it's super oh. easy to take anywhere. So if you are making it home for the holidays, and I know that my parents' coffee is not my favorite, <laughs> so I like to sneak a little pour over home. Don't tell them I said that. Um, I like to sneak a little pour over at home, and this guy is perfect. Um, you can take it anywhere, camping, home for the holidays, whatever it is. Um, and it's super easy to brew with, too. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. I'm so with you when you go to someone's house and they have, you know, whatever they have and it's just not your coffee and you're just, I, I can't get up without my coffee. Speaking <laughs> of my coffee, let's talk about the holiday blend. Yes. Because that is an exciting part of everyone's year and I'll say this one cup of coffee is not going to do it in my household I need a, like a full eight how do I make the perfect brew when I'm buying special coffee like that I don't want to waste it yeah exactly so the first things first and this is what I tell everybody if they ask for advice or brewing at home get a good coffee um, you can only um, make coffee as good as it actually is before you start brewing. So the holiday blend that we offer at Cafe Vita is awesome. It's chocolatey, it's nutty, it goes great with those holiday desserts. Um, it's truly incredible. Um, also a, a great option too is our Costa Rican single origin. This is light, bright, fruity. If you want something a little more adventurous, um, you have to pick what's right for you and what makes you happy. Um, but today we're gonna be working with the holiday blend. I love it. And so do you, you say, are you a, you got to grind your own beans or is it okay to buy them already ground? Oh, that's a challenging question. Um, I would say get your beans whole bean and grind fresh before brewing. You okay. lose over 85% of your flavor potential after 15 minutes of grinding your coffee. Wow. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. So are there, okay. So when we have, we've got our great coffee, we we've ground it. We've got, we started with a good coffee, which I love. What are some ways that we can take our coffee experience to the next level at home? And we got time on our yeah. hands at home. I'm ready to make some fancy coffee. Yeah, let's do it. So first things first is making sure you have the right ratio of coffee to water. Um, okay. I like to use a scale. So I use a one to 16 gram ratio of coffee to water. Um, and if you're just using volume measure measurements and you can use um, two table or one tablespoon equals four ounces of water. So right now I have two tablespoons of coffee in here and I'm just adding some water. It's super easy. Brewing coffee is just adding water to coffee and I'm adding eight ounces total of water and that's going to give me the perfect brew. That's where a lot of people go wrong is the ratio of coffee to water. I think a lot of people think, oh, the stronger, the better. But when we're looking for flavor, um, there's only so much that water can pull from the coffee. So when you're packing coffee in, it's going to get sludgy and gross and all the things. We want a clean cup of coffee. Yeah, and I think my problem is I'm adding too much water by the sound of it. So thank you for that yeah, absolutely. wonderful tip. Um, before I let you go, I have to ask, what, what do you got over there? Is that eggnog I see? Okay, so I, I knew you were going to ask this question. So I had a <laughs> cup of coffee already brewed, and I'm going to set this aside. So what I like to do for the holidays is I add two ounces about of oh. eggnog. If you want to go a little heavy, go for it because you can never have too much eggnog. Yes. And then um, I add whipped cream. Oh my goodness gracious. And again, you can never go too heavy with the whipped cream. And then I add fresh nutmeg. Now this is the trick. This is so delicious. It takes that classic holiday beverage and just makes it so good. Oh, try not to drop the, the nutmeg. I mean, unless you um, like a lot of nutmeg, that's okay. Yeah, exactly. If you want a little I, extra nut, Meg. Sam, I love this, especially because, you know what, if we are sitting at home on the holidays, if we are alone, I, what a great way to brighten up the day. And I, that's a little rum. It's a, allowed to add a little rum, right? 
Yeah, exactly. So that was, this is like my little secret. Um, this is batch 206 rum. You add two ounces of this and you are set for the evening. Uh, um, it pairs so nicely together. You have to try it at home. It is so good. I have yet to try that. Oh, but I will. Oh, but I will. Well, coming up, we would all like to get back into the coffee shop soon, right? Well, up next, we're talking to Snohomish County about how they're getting ready to roll out the COVID vaccine. Stick around for that. We're back. <laughs>